Hey everyone, welcome to the AWS Blogger. My name's John Meyer, and what I'm gonna try to do is explain and walk through OBS and OBS Ninja setup. I've used it a lot recently for my interviews and chat and actually configuring uh, really live stream events. And I think it's the best thing that's been like invented for OBS and utilizing it instead of using other tools and trying to like crop it in or using your local resource here. What you see on the screen is right here on my right side, I am I have OBS installed on an AWS workspace. And this is my streaming workspace that's configured to stream, whether it's to Twitch, uh, YouTube, uh, I'm gonna do everything here in my workspace. Locally configured, all I'm gonna use is this browser, and I'm using Firefox for this, but it works in Safari, Chrome, it works on your iPhone, it works on your iPad. Uh, there was a Kindle that was just tested by Jeff Barr, so it does work uh, in all these. So here's your setup. One, an AWS workspace for your streaming. Locally, you need a browser, your camera, and a mic, that's it. Everything else I'm gonna show you is gonna be done using peer-to-peer -peer and through your browser. So first thing we're gonna to go to is OBS Ninja, and I'm gonna set up a group chat. I'm gonna call this my uh, test recording, and I would suggest setting a password for it because I've actually had an instance where I had OBS Ninja running and somebody joined me. Uh, it was really cool. We had around the world. It worked out perfectly. I'm just going to do, you know, like uh, password one, two, three, four. Uh, and this one I'm done. I'm not using this uh, room again. So I'm going to enter the control room. This is the control room. If you are the person controlling the environment for OBS, I suggest you're the one that sets this up. But anybody can set it up and send you the link to manage within your OBS, uh, within your workspace. I suggest you do it so because you're going to be controlling the scenes that go back and forth. The very first one that uh, up here is a link that you're going to hand out to those that you want to join the group. Now, for me, I'm going to take this and I'm going to uh, I'm going to copy this. Now, for me, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to open up another tab and I'm going to paste this in here. All right. And then I'm gonna give it the password. Now, you have two options. Join with a camera or share with your room. Right now, what I found out is that if you wanna join with a camera and then try to switch to share room, you actually had to rejoin the environment or rejoin the OBS Ninja, which actually regenerates an encryption key for you and it's a unique URL, but then that also means the person has to go into OBS and configure all your setup again. So my suggestion on this, and that if, you're, if there's a new way to do it, feel free to let me know. I haven't tested out that uh, fully because I haven't needed to share my screen. What I suggest or what I've done is had my share screen, whatever I wanted to share the screen on one device, one laptop, and on another laptop, uh, separate, I sent the same link and I joined from that one. So I had two cameras and I could control who was joining the group or at, at individual times or when I wanted to show the screen. For the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna do share my camera. Share my camera. Now be patient on this screen. The reason I say that is that every time you make a selection, it reloads. So you'll notice that the load time on this. Right here is where you wanna select your mic. If I select my podcaster one, give it a second to reload. Don't click right away because what will happen is you'll change some source. And I'll say press when ready. There, I am in a room. This is actually considered the group room. Everybody that joins uh, can get added to this room. Now, as you notice, I just have me. This is the control room that you're dealing with. This is the person who's going to manage the environment and who joins what scene and when. If I add to group scene, this is the group scene that's right here. But say I, I don't even want to worry about the group scene just at, at this point. What I want to do is I want to put this person right here, myself, into OBS. I'm going to click this link that's right here. Copy to clipboard. All right. 
And within OBS, I set up a blank scene. Nothing's on there. I just want to show you what you're going to do. You're going to come here to browse. And I like to name mine like OBS. And, uh, and I'm just going to say John. And then and the reason that I do this is because if I use different uh, windows or different scenes, I can select myself again. And I don't have to update the unique URL for it. I'm going to go ahead and update that. And you're going to notice there I am. I'm brought right in to OBS. Now you have to do a little transforming on this one. No big deal. Edit it. You know, take the top off. Like, uh, I think I did like 50 on that one. Or 75, 75, whatever needs to be done. And you can transform that. You could also, with this, you notice that I don't have any sound down here. And the thing with that is if you check this little box, Control Audio via OBS, now you're going to notice that OBS is gonna control my sound. I don't have to add a separate audio input into doing it. And I did some live streaming with this. It works out really great. The next thing I wanna show you, obviously, if you take this and you set it to the actual width of the page, which is just your browser one, and I actually didn't set it all the way to, oh, you know what, because I trimmed it off a little bit. So I'll expand myself in great. There I am, full screen onto it. All right, so now I have myself. How am I managing it? If you look back on this other one, still me. All right, let's add another person to the scene. And I'm gonna log in on another laptop. You're gonna see me bring it and you're gonna see a side view of me and I'm gonna bring it into the scene here. Uh, I can, I'm gonna actually create another one and I'll bring it right in. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna send it to another device. All right, so now that I sent this to another device, I haven't logged in just yet. I did do the password, but I haven't initiated sharing the camera. I'm gonna do that and you're gonna see that join the screen here. So I'm gonna join. Now, before I click it, I'm gonna, real, I'm gonna let you know that I have the audio here. I'm actually going to select the audio. Some of the times when you select no audio, what happens is it comes up saying device ready or waiting for a device ready because it assumes you're gonna use an audio. Select an audio if you're using the second device, but mute yourself and turn the speakers off. That's actually one of the keys so you don't get any back feed through all that. So you're gonna hear some of that. On my other screen, here's my other device, and which is brought in, but I don't have me in here yet. Here, here we are within the environment. And you can select it and move it around whatever which way you'd like. This is what, those who are logged in, when we're talking, you're gonna be talking into this screen, you're gonna look at this screen, you don't wanna look at the live feed, you don't even wanna look at, uh, your workspace will be really quick and fast and pulling it in. Maybe a millisecond, maybe, maybe a second or two, that's great. Well, what if I wanna bring both of us into a conversation here on to OB OBS? All right, so I'm gonna select this, and actually, I'm gonna throw in another scene. I'm just gonna say it's scene two. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna say my browser, and this is OBS group, all right. And then now I have this. Now, if you come back here, there is a group link. Click on it, copy to paste, and you're gonna paste it right in, all right. You do want it to control your audio and you can set your, you know. Oops. All right. Now I have the full screen. Well, where is everybody? That's the great part is that you control it. So I'm gonna add to group scene. Oh, there's me, bam. There's the second person, and now you can transform this, and you can see me moving and how the um, latency is. It's actually not bad at all. So that, that's actually, that's really cool uh, to bring in there and make sure everybody's in. I mean, that's, I like to, for me, myself, I kinda like to bring each person in individually. Um, that's one of the things that you can do uh, I did a split screen, so you know, minimize or shrink this one, do a little transforming, and then bring in another person or or the other individual, so you can say OBS, you know, 
other. All right, so now I can take their link. Remember, I can give each person their own individual window, their own screen, and I'm just gonna leave it as is. I'm not gonna make this uh, too pretty here. Uh, that's coming on, so here's that. Now, one of the questions that I've seen or come up is what if the other person has a green screen or you wanna transpose the background? That, that's great, that's a great question. Here's what you're gonna do. The other person's gonna have their green screen behind them. Tell them don't do anything else. Don't, set, don't change the chroma key, just send them exactly what they would normally see in the video. So if you have the green screen, you pull it down and they send it. Now when they do that, you're gonna do all the transposing, you're gonna apply the chroma key right here within your OBS. So I would come in to um, each individual person's screen here and I will click on it and I'll do my filters and I'll add my filter of my you know, chroma key and then I'll apply that at this time. That's gonna take it and automatically do the image. If I have an image back here, so one of the, the things that I actually sit on, you know, kind of use a little bit is the AWS orange room image. All right. And then, uh, you know, drop this down right behind it and then you would transpose it within here. So have them send you just exactly what they would normally see. They're gonna see, if you look over in this section, you'll see the green screen. You'll be talking to a person with green screen, but the end results will be shown right here within OBS is that you'll apply the chroma key to it. That's it, that's simple. Tomorrow I'll be testing it out on my Twitch channel. You can also follow me on my YouTube channel. Let me know if this is helpful. Have a great one. Uh, hopefully this works and for everybody, feel free to comment below if you have any questions, uh, something's not working for you. I know this is kind of crude, but I wanted to get it out there because a lot of my colleagues have some questions about it. Thanks a lot, have a good one.